Hello and welcome to another video. I've been asked so many times now to show how I do my wheels, so here we go. I use 400 grit sandpaper and I use a mixing stick for getting into the funny angles and corners, etc. So the first thing I do is cut it into quarters. I find this easier for getting into the smaller parts of the wheel. I would say don't use cheap sandpaper if you want to get a nice finish. The quality always does better. Okay, so get your mixing stick or something like a ruler and fold your sandpaper around it. And this will help you get into the little pointed edges and edges that you can't get your fingers into on the wheel. I will do one segment of the wheel just to show you how I do it, as you're not going to want to watch me for over an hour doing the rest of the wheel. But I will come back into the video once I do the face of the wheel. Keep replacing your sandpaper to keep it fresh to make it easier to do the job. One thing I will say is always wear a mask, something like a 3M respirator or something like that. Okay, after doing the hard edges, and the top pointed bits. Now just use your fingers and sand the rest of the triangle. Don't forget to do the edge of your alloy where it meets the tire. If these wheels were all corroded before I started, I would have sandblasted them first before doing this process. Just keep sanding until the shine is gone and everything's nice and smooth. It can be a long, boring job and you will end up with sore fingers, but if you want your car to look good, this is the way to do it. Just keep going, you'll get there in the end. Once you've done a section, what I normally do is use a bit of scotch bright and just finish off any shiny bits. I 
Okay, I'll do the rest of the triangles off camera and I'll bring you back when I start on the face of the wheel. Okay, that's 400 grit again, and if possible, if you've got a sander, use a DA sander. If not, just put it on a rubber block or something like that. Just keep going over the whole face of the wheel till all the paint is off and everything is nice and smooth. This part doesn't take anywhere near as long as doing the fiddly bits in the inner triangles of the wheel. Just keep going, changing the sandpaper when needed. Okay, I think that's got it. Time to blow it down and see if we've got any little parts we need to fill. But first of all, I'll get the little grooves on the face of the wheel with some scotch brite and probably use my paint stick again too. This just helps you to get into the tiny little grooves and make it a lot easier. Do this the same as the rest, just keep sanding until the shine is off the wheel. Then I just sort of rub all over the wheel, just trying to get any little shiny bits that are left over and just smoothing off to finish. Okay, we're nearly there. But coming up next is how to do the holes where your wheel nuts go. I use the Dremel tool with the gold wire attachment. Don't use the silver wire attachment as it will take chunks out of your wheel.
I recommend wearing eyewear for doing this as little bits of wire fly everywhere. When you're doing this, all you've got to do is gently rub the wire round and round, up and down, and it will easily remove any contamination on the wheel. This process doesn't take long, only a few minutes just to do this part. And as you will see now, this is much cleaner, rust free, ready to be treated. Okay, only thing left to do now is there's a couple of small marks on the wheel I need to fill and sand them down ready to prime. I will show you a couple of photos of them now. And that's it. I hope I've helped out all the people that are asking me to do this video and lots more to come. Thanks for watching and good luck with your wheels.